Salutations and good morrow everyone, welcome back to another Grounded Update video where today I am hopping in and we are going to be going over one of the new things that got added in this update and that is the story. I haven't seen a whole lot of people going over the little bit of story that was added in this update that it all involves everything around the Haze Lab. So let's hop in and let's find out exactly why the Haze is the way it is and why we have this infection going on as well. So, in order to follow me along with this story and your guys' gameplay, all you need to do is unlock the Haze Lab, walk in here, and you'll be able to one up and grab this first note. Now, if you guys could please hit that like button for me, don't forget to subscribe and leave me a comment down below. But let's hop in and let's hear about some new story that got added in the Hot and Hazy update. Okay, so Dr. Wendell Log number 14, ominent prominent cans Russell. Uh, first a pay cut, now a man cut. I, I think that means that he got fired. At least the only experimenting being judged now is my mushroom parmesan. Trudy and the kids, his wife and kids, are relentless in their scrutiny, meaning that they don't like it. But, his mu but he loves mushrooms. This guy loves mushrooms. Wendell, you're being weird, though. Uh, to be fair, being down here eye to eye to or eye to fungi with these argus biospores tells me that the mushroom for improvement after all. Oh god, the the dad jokes are real, uh, and Burgle loves it. <laughs> Deep robotic goffling. Ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. Okay, anyway, sad chuckle. In any case, there's time now, away from watchful eyes, to expand our work and explore what's possible with raw science. It's dangerous, man. Don't do it. All right. So, in other words, uh, right now, Dr. Wendell just got fired after his fail of an experiment. And he is now trying to experiment with other things, including raw science. And he's talking about mushrooms a lot because, well, he's in love with mushrooms and his family isn't so much. So I think he's trying to change them so his family will enjoy them more. Running on down here a little bit more. We're going to run past this door and run right over here for our next log. That's right here. All right, Wendell, the introduction of raw science to the resident fungi has been quick to take effect, and drastic mutations have occurred. <laughs> the shift from uh, phase one to two was almost a blur. Uh, there might be reason it seemed like a blur, if I may, says Burgle. Oh, who asked you, robot? Phase one was deemed safe enough for human consumption by my overbearing colleague here. Safe for consumption from by the robot. For humans. Yeah, sure. I've earned the nickname Truffle Pig around the house. Perhaps it's a bit of an aphrodisiac. It is. You've been eating... Dude, you've been eating too many mushrooms. Or you've been eating a lot of mushrooms. Phase two, however, is showing even more explosive growth and wild changes. If phase three continues to produce novel results and we can cover the tracks of raw science. Dr. Wendell, this is dangerous. This may be old Wendell's ticket back to the big game, baby. I don't know about that, Wendell. That's kind of dangerous. All right. So in other words, Dr. Wendell started experimenting on mushrooms now. And at this point, you can see he brought rather a control, which is just your standard little mushroom buddies, right? And then he started putting things into them, a.k.a. he started putting the raw science in them. So here's their first effect, which they've gotten kind of these little spory out points and they've gotten kind of thin and, and yucky looking here, like they've kind of been dried out a little bit. But then all of a sudden they just turn into this, which is no good. So yeah, as you can see, phase one or K control, phase one and phase two. Okay, so this is phase two. They say it's still safe for human consumption, that is, which I don't think so, but they say it is. And phase three, well, this is what phase three looks like. Phase three was locked inside of that test tube in the middle and has since started spreading throughout the base in here. And they are quite, well, explosive. All right, let's go on down. We'll read a little bit about phase three and then we'll find out the rest of the story about this lab as well. So in order to do that, you just gotta follow me along right over here. Ignore all the explodey little guys that are back there. They just wanna eat your soul anyway, so avoid them if you can. Running up over here and you will find the phase three results right here. All right, phase three results explosive. 
The mutations in phase 3 are progressing at a rate I can't begin to quantify, and these spread to the local fauna. Words cannot express the sorrow I feel for these simple creatures, warped and manipulated into ravenous horrible exploding beings. Attempts to reverse or even slow the changes in the strange spores or creatures has it has spread to haven't been fruitful. I'm tasking Burgle with keeping an eye on all of this and introducing security defense procedures to keep this lab safe. Catastrophic as it may be, my, con my confidence in raw science as a catalyst for growth and change is sealed now. Okay, so in other words, um, what happened with phase three after everything started exploding? Well, this is what happened. They ended up making all of these infected bugs on accident and the problem with that was is that not only were these spreading to flora, but now it's fauna as well So all these bugs are now infected They all have little exploding powers and stuff like that and really they've lost complete control of their bodies If you look they are now crazy look at that crazy ladybug. He's completely insane But yeah, th they've lost all control and have turned into nothing but destructive forces that blow up when infected by these spores and it does spawn at an alarming rate. I mean, look at this poor weevil. That weevil's literally got a mushroom growing out of his eye. That poor thing. But anyway, so that is what phase three results ended up boating to. And sadly, we have one more uh, Wendell log to go over here. That really spells the end for this lab. Why it is the way it is. Why the haze is the way that it is. And what and why you shouldn't turn off the haze yet. All right, wrestling frantic, frantic wrestling. Wow, it's clear now this was all a mistake. I've got to get control of this myself, all of it. Uh, bugs going wild, mushrooms blowing up, mushroom parmesan, still five stars. Dude, stop talking about your mushroom parmesan, bro. Wendell, Burgle, we're abandoning the facility immediately. Initiate protocol blazed earth. But Wendell, results are inconclusive. The effects of the weed kill... Uh, through gritted teeth. Do it, robot. Do it. Very well. Order coming right up. There's hope yet, though. There's something here. Just with the right harmonically sealed, perfectly pressurized environment. I don't know about all that, Wendell. You really probably should stop this. Ooh, look, bombs! Uh, Burgle. Complete lockdown. Blast the canister per protocol specs and meet me at the pond dome. Affirmative! Okay, so in other words, what Wendell did there is Wendell had realized at this point that he had messed up bad. Like, really, really, really bad. You can see phase one, phase two, phase three. Actually, that's... Control phase one, phase two, phase three. But anyway, uh, you can see that Wendell realized that he messed up really, really bad here. And he needed to try to fix it, and he didn't know how to fix it. So what did he do? He activated Operation Blaze Earth, which what that was was activating a bomb that exploded a hole in the 420 gas canister that's right outside in an attempt to slow the spread of the infection. And in other words kill off anything that gets out of this base because right now the weed killer is the only thing holding back all of these spores from not only taking over the backyard but pretty much taking over well kind of the world as it would seem um which is super super dangerous at the end of the day but that's all that dr wendell tully could do in order to try to contain his massive mistake that he made because at the end of the day, he realized that all of this that we see over here is all because of an experiment that he was trying to do with this raw science. The scary part about all of this is, is that he went over to the pond base then in the next set of uh, story that's coming up. He went over to the pond base and started doing more experiments over there. Now, I'm assuming that's where the muscle sprouts came from, but there's even more that can be explained over there once they update the story a little bit more. So that means we're not done with the pond yet, ladies and gentlemen. But that is all of the story that is put in so far with this update. I hope you guys liked it. If you guys did, hit that like button for me. Let me know if you guys want to see more. There's still other hidden notes in the game, like other bosses and other hidden things about the map um, that we could go over as well. So if you guys want to see that, let me know down in the comments and also please don't forget to subscribe and as always i'll see all of you guys in the next one